Alright, so uh, we are going to continue our bond features in chapter 4 bonds. Before, uh, we are going to discuss further on the calculation part. So, uh, for a bond, it actually can be called prior to maturity. So, we have also a call premium. Okay, the terms uh, call premium in uh, bonds. So, it is the amount added to the bond's par value and paid to investors when a bond is retired prematurely, right? So, let's say the bond is being called before the maturity is over. Uh, let's say uh, the bond par value is RM1000, but a premium callable uh, bond is RM200. For example, this bond, uh, let's say the maturity is within 20 years. However, at the year 10, bond, uh, this bond is actually being called by the issuer. So, the issuer actually offering the uh, bond at RM1000 thousand and two hundred to be called back right so uh, the investors is actually gaining a kind of a uh, profit over here so the bond uh, which is uh, previously being bought at rm1000 at par but when it is it is being called by the issuer it is uh, sold at rm1200 so this is what we call uh, when the total price is RM, uh, uh, the callable price is RM1200, so this is the profit, right? The 200. So we, uh, or also we call it as the pre premium. So uh, it is normally happens to the callable bond being called at premium, right? So this is what we call uh, call premium. And what about refunding provision? So, this is a provision that prohibits the premature retirement of an issue from the, from the proceeds of a lower coupon refunding bond. For example, let's say a bond could uh, come out as freely callable but also non-refundable uh, non for 5 years. Okay? So, it means that uh, the bond is actually uh, adalah the uh, a kind of um, in bahasa what we call dilarang ataupun uh, tak boleh uh, untuk refunding ni okay tak boleh nak retire lebih a uh, lebih awal okay alright uh, um, so contohnya for example a bond okay uh, bond tersebut mungkinlah uh, freely callable tetapi uh, tak boleh refund uh, for another 5 yes uh, so tak boleh uh, tunggu so, uh, nak refund balik tu kena tunggu right uh, uh, within the 5 years tu kena cukup syarat dia dulu right uh, barulah boleh call dan sebagainya alright what about sinking fund provisions okay so this is the sinking fund provision right so um sinking uh, funds uh, provisions or maybe you could translate it into bahasa as dana tenggelam peruntukan dana tenggelam kan sinking kan tenggelam uh -huh, right so betul lah tu right uh, uh, it's true um but uh, in English, we call it sinking funds provision. So, it is a provision which stipulates how the bond will be paid off over time. Macam mana bond tu akan dibayar uh, sehinggalah tarikh dia matured. So, this will only uh, normally applies uh, only to the term bonds. Okay, remember what are the features of a uh, term bonds? Okay, uh, this one. It has a single fair... Fairly uh, lengthy uh, maturity date, can alright. So, for example, twenty years. Uh, so, if it's being issued in nineteen ninety nine, it will only mature due, uh, in two thousand and nineteen. So, this is what we call a term bond. It's quite long maturity over here, right? So, of course, there must be a sinking fund provisions available 
to make the bond more attractive to the to the investors. It specifies that the annual repayment uh, schedule that will be used to pay off the issue, right? So dia akan sediakan lah annual repayment schedule yang uh, tertentu untuk menyatakan bila bond ni akan dibayar dan seterusnya. So the issuer must pay off the bond system uh, medically over time. So kalau dia ada kupon dan sebagainya itu pun kena dinyatakan, right? So um, sinking fund uh, over here sama sahaja dengan sinking funds yang available if you are living at any condominium or apartments. So you can ask your parents. Normally when they enter into the agreement to buy a house uh, or normally a landed landed house also uh, applicable to certain uh, certain strata landed house. Uh, let's say um, to condominiums or apartment, right? So that your parents have to pay around 10% sinking fund. This is not the same as uh, uh, maintenance fees, kan? Setiap bangunan yang like such as condominium and uh, uh, apartment tu ada uh, maintenance fees, kan? So sinking fund berbeza, right? Uh, they have to pay the sinking fund as well. So sinking fund is normally... Uh, to be used uh, whenever the building is uh, already uh, um, maybe bila dah lama got broken ataupun nak baiki uh, nak repaint kan nak cap balik dan sebagainya right so uh, itulah uh, pada masa itulah dia akan menggunakan sinking fund yang telah dibayar tadi right so 10% is quite a lot lah uh, right so for example itu adalah sinking fund untuk uh, untuk uh, anybody yang live at uh, living at um, apartments or condominiums, right? So sinking fund over here is the, the same. So the money, uh, the issuer of the bond will put aside, will ataupun akan set aside uh, those money ataupun uh, saving. Uh, dia akan simpan sebahagian daripada dana tadi. Uh, dan akan digunakan untuk pay off the bond lah ah, Right over time So uh, uh, It means that all the money That all the fund that they could raise from the bond Will not be used 100% to project the financing or investment Right So they will save some money uh, In order To pay off the bond Whenever the times come right uh, so some bonds are normally issued with sinking fund provision so whenever you see a bonds with sinking funds uh, provision is quite safe actually for the uh, investors or for the bond holder right it's quite safe for them because this bond is being promised and the company already set aside some money so if anything happens they could actually pay to the Bond holders, right? Uh, so this is what does it mean by sinking fund feature. So kita boleh katakan bond yang ada sinking fund provision ni lebih terjamin, right? So these are among the advantage and uh, disadvantages investing in bonds. What are the advantage? So I highlight just a few. The first one. Returns are quite high compared to common stock. It depends. It depends on the bonds actually. Okay. Sometimes the returns is quite high compared to common stock. Okay. But also sometimes uh, it could be the other way. Alright. It could be the other way. Depends on the types of bond and depends on the types of common stock that you are investing. Okay. Right. Number two, tax shield can be obtained from certain issues. Yes. Some of the bond, they have tax shield. So, Uh, the investors are protected towards the shield, uh, sorry, towards the tax payment, right? So, there are some tax shield that can be obtained. Uh, depends on the types of the bond uh, being issued. And number three, the bonds are senior to common stocks on the claims of the assets of uh, issuer in the case of liquidation. Yes, if the company being liquidated due to... Um, A bankruptcy due to uh, mergers and acquisition, for example. So, the first uh, uh, who are going to be paid is the bondholder, right? 
uh, right so this is a uh, 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 this is uh, some of the advantages uh, when we investing in uh, bonds. You can also add additional one like um, uh, investors or also can uh, enjoy a fixed or written uh, in, uh, income, being promised the coupon each and every year. All right, so those uh, uh, could be the kind of advantage to the uh, uh, investors uh, in bonds. Okay, what about these advantages? Right. The first one, coupons are usually fixed for the life of the bond. Uh, this could be some uh, kind of advantage. On the other way, it could also be disadvantages to the bondholder. Why? Because the when the coupons are usually fixed, so no matter how much is the uh, interest rate that happening uh, within the 20 years, no matter how much uh, inflation uh, rate has uh rise or uh, something hap uh, like um, if the inflation is uh, quite okay it's so good but what about if the inflation is quite high right so nothing happens to the uh, uh, coupons it stays the same <laughs> right so the coupons are actually fixed right over the period of 20 or 30 years okay uh, bonds returns are exposed to interest rate risk yes so the return that you get is actually depend, uh, uh, it's not depend, it's a kind of exposed to the interest rate, uh, fluctuation of the interest rate over the time, right? So it's a kind of, um, whatever return that we have within that year, um, and no matter how much is the interest rate, uh, so it's a kind of uh, affected towards your return in, uh, RM, okay? Um, so this is uh, a kind of disadvantages to the uh, investors as well. Okay, most bonds have no voting rights. Yes, yeah. so normally bonds do not have any voting rights. Okay, so if you uh, bought a bond in uh, CIMB, for example, so you do not have any voting rights uh, during the CIMB um, board of uh, directors uh, meeting. So, uh, because it's not a kind of common stock or shares, right? It's not an equity. So, you do not have any voting rights, alright? Bonds also have rating. So, rating ni macam uh, uh, more like um, the better the rating that the bonds have, it will be more attractive towards the investors. So, who actually designates the rating? Okay, normally it is uh, being rated by S, uh, Standard and Poor, Moody's or RAM, Rating Agency Malaysia or MARC. Right? So this is, MARC is the kind of uh, international uh, um, bodies for rating the bonds. Okay. Ini semua adalah agency-agency yang mem boleh memberi rating kepada bond yang ada. Right? So let's say for example, RAM akan rating like such as a triple A, double A, A or BB, right? Uh, right. So it depends. So the this one is a kind of uh, uh, kita katakan sebagai uh, rating rating tertentu lah, uh, kan? So kalau double A tu maksudnya has a strong uh, capacity lah. Triple uh, A pun sama, a strong capacity. Uh, daripada syarikat untuk pay back whatever that they promise, right? Compared to A. Uh, compared to A biasa, right? Kalau BB, da, uh, triple B ni mungkin is a kind of moderate lah. Uh, moderate sahaja, uh, kan? Mungkin company-nya masih agak baru, agak bertatih dalam industri untuk further uh, uh, developing the project and so on, right? So, this is the rating. Right, so normally investors akan pilih uh, bonds yang mempunyai rating yang tinggi kalau dia nak lebih secure, right? So mark mark pula dia akan rating like this one, okay? Like uh, mark two, mark three for example lah, okay? Uh, Standard and Poor also the same, triple A, double A, BB, Moody's, okay, RAM. Uh, so uh, this one you can check in uh, your textbooks, okay, how they actually give the ratings towards the bond, right? So bond, uh, also, uh, so we are going to the calculation part uh, for bonds valuation and analysis 
uh, on on the next video.